A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us call rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us call rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us call rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us call rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us call rejoicing to the house of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the, inher in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to God. Be to God.
blessing, Father. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, he saved others, let him save himself. If he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him as they approached to offer him wine. They called out, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, this is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly for the sentence we received corresponding to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Bubba's wife was pregnant, and one evening she went into labor. So a very nervous agitated Bubba calls 911 said Sally's gone into labor can y'all come right away the 911 operator said is this her firstborn Bubba said no this is her husband <laughs> only in the gospel of Luke do we hear the term firstborn in the infancy narrative she gave birth to her firstborn son wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger thus showing us the human side of Jesus. Now today, St. Paul writes to the Colossians, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of the dead, that all things he himself might be preeminent. He's showing us the divine side of Jesus. Now this feast of Christ the King follows the three-year liturgical cycle. In year A, Matthew tells us that Jesus came in all his glory with his angels, separating the sheep from the goats. In year B, St. John tells of the conversation between Jesus and Pontius Pilate. So you are a king. Yes, my kingdom is not of this world, but I am a king. But St. Luke paints a very different picture of Jesus our king, suffering and dying on the cross. Now these leaders jeer and mock Jesus. If you are king, save yourself. Come down off that cross. Little do they know that if Jesus wanted to use his power, he would have done it way back in chapter 4, when he was taken and tempted by, in, for 40 days in the desert by the devil. Only in the Gospel of Luke do we hear the story of the repentant thief. He takes responsibilities for his crimes. But he does believe that Jesus is a king. He may be a bit confused, unsure how this is going to happen, because Jesus is also dying on the cross. But he puts his faith in Jesus. And then Jesus says those very, very important words. Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. He didn't say, you will be with me in my kingdom. He said, you will be with me in paradise. Thus, connecting us back to Genesis, Adam and Eve, the Garden of Eden. Jesus has reversed the downfall of sin through his death and resurrection. Jesus also tells us in chapter 9 of the Gospel of Luke, if anyone wishes to be my follower, 
He must take up his cross daily and follow me. It's through our daily trials, tribulations, and our crosses that we realize our dependence on our Father in heaven and our way to our eternal salvation, which we all would like to be, we know is going to carry us through that cross of Jesus Christ. A farmer had an old mule in a dried up well, and the mule fell into the well. The farmer decided neither one was worth saving, so he enlisted his neighbors to help fill the well in and thus bury the mule. Well, as the dirt rained down on the mule, he kept shaking it off and stepping up. And that process continued. He kept shaking it off and stepping up until the well was filled up and he was able to step over the wall and escape. What was meant to bury him actually allowed him to escape. It's the same with us. The devil is constantly trying to bury us through our crosses and trials and tribulations, but our very loving Father in heaven uses them to help lift us up. 